So when a child responds in a certain way, the context, the family allows certain responses to happen, holds certain responses as taboo, and so on. So you internalize that and you create a structure inside which actually is reflected in the body. So when emotions that are tough to touch, the body would have become rigid, you would have had judgments about it, you would have you'd be faking it just because you're here. So many things will be happening. So the more you're able to observe this, the more you have a chance of releasing these conditions. Right? And if you release the conditioning, then you can back like Surya Kumar Yata. If you can't release your conditioning, you'll back like Rahul only a few shots you have, you have only stuck to that. So you're hoping that the holder holds to your strength. And you can't stand there just really receiving, waiting for the world to come up and you know you can respond in perfect. Because Shantan doesn't mean peace by the way, it's translated badly as peace. Shantan is that, that's why we call it the lake of Shantan. It's a pregnant possibility, but it's quiet, silent, balanced, calm, but pregnant to possibilities. So you can be absolutely sensitive, know exactly what is the quality of the trigger and make choices. How do I want to respond? Yeah, maybe I want to duck this ball and let it go. Maybe I want to hit something else, but it's completely under my choice. Right? I'm not under the choice of the other, I'm not triggered by the other. And if I'm rigid, I actually don't know what's happening. I'm just responding to a pre-programmed cognitive analysis. Rather than that, it's actually dangerous. Yeah? And just imagine, the only animals in the world that can get away without listening are human beings. Because it's so... You can live in packages, you can live in safe spaces. No animal can get away without listening. If it doesn't listen, it's dead. Yeah.